We are operating in an agile age. What does this mean for our leaders and our organizations? So we can see from latest re leadership research that actually we are having to embrace certain tipping points at the moment. The first tipping point is that the whole nature of change itself is changing. We're having to embrace unceasing transformation. Wicked systemic interconnected problems is the new norm. The second dynamic is the change in leadership dynamic, from the hero shining armor going into battle with surety and certainty, to the blade and the chalice, to be able to hold emergence, not knowing, and be able to empower others. And the third dynamic is the shift in the organization, from seeing the organization as a machine, mechanistic, to actually it being a living system. So this shift in the organizational dynamic from the organization as a machine to an organization as a living system is perhaps the most profound thing that we're facing today in our businesses. And I refer to it as a shift from a firm of the past to a firm of the future. Top-down hierarchic, siloed command and controlled, KPI-obsessed organizations that you and I are well versed in transforming to these firms of the future. Living, emergent, distributed, decentralized, locally attuned teams of people dealing with unceasing transformation without having to rely on hierarchies of proxy and control. So it's a fundamental shift from machine to living systems. So what does that mean, this shift, and what insight can we take from living systems? Well, when we look deep into nature, we see that there are essential life dynamics that we can take from nature and apply to our organizations. And the essential dynamics are ones of divergence convergence and emergence. Divergence is opening up, convergence is bringing together, and out of that tension comes the third, which is emergence, which is the way in which the organization finds its flow, its evolutionary potential. So we can create future fitness in our organizations through enlivening divergence, through distributed decision-making, through decentralized decision-making, through empowering people to make change happen at the local level, by increasing the relationality, and also by encouraging the diversity, age, creed, culture, and gender, but also diverse perspectives, by bringing people across silos and bringing people across the stakeholder ecosystem beyond the organization. So out of the balance of convergence and divergence, we find emergence, which is the way nature works. And that's the way our organizations and our human systems work. And the more we can enliven that emergence with inside our organizations, the more we allow our organizations to become future fit, to become vibrant and able to adapt in this agile age. The power of analytics can help us unlock from becoming more bloated on data, getting too caught up in the status quo, and actually using the power to know to increase our chance to actually upstretch into the emerging future, to sense the patterns, the emerging future that is coming out of our organizations. So analytics can free us up to enable us to use the innate intelligences we have within inside ourselves, our teams, and our stakeholder ecosystems so that we can sense into our emerging future. So analytics is a very powerful tool that equips us as our organizations become more future fit.